Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Oh my gosh, you guys. Finally doing this little intro, first time speaking. I am almost halfway into my sleeve. Almost, almost there. I am going to try my best to finish the sleeve tonight. If I don't finish the sleeve tonight, I will probably reach like maybe the ribbing and then just like finish it off tomorrow take some pictures like show you guys the behind the scenes of me taking pictures in it and post pictures and then start on my hat which is my next knit project I don't care to take like large breaks in between projects because I love knitting and crafting and that's what I do so yeah I always have my next project ready like I always know what I'm gonna do next always so I'm half, not halfway, almost halfway into this sleeve. I've been, I've had a great day, okay? It's been very relaxing and it got even better because I got some yarn, you guys. Yarn haul, here we go. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting these packages today, which is like, which makes it even better. So let me show you the first group I don't even know what to call this let me grab it so Sorella she is one of the indie dyers that I buy my hand dyed yarn from and she always has great yarn like I'm always buying her for, I think my hand dyed yarn stash I think most of it came from her because she just has such great yarn like she's the second indie dyer I bought hand dyed yarn from and like okay anyway so she recently had this collection called like the book shop collection or something it was like themed around like books like either Christmas books or children's books or something it was really cute let me just show you what I got I got this right here in sweater quantity so of course always sweater quantity so let me show you one close up this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's called, oof, I don't know how to say that. I'm not even gonna try. That is what it's called. This is 100% superwash merino wool, fingering weight, classic sock, 438 yards, 100 grams. You guys always know when I get sweater quantity of hand dyed yarn, it is most likely, no, yeah, 100% of the time when I get hand dyed yarn in sweater quantity for sweaters, it's fingering weight yarn. So here it is. And because I was like, you know what, I can't just pair any type of mohair with this because I usually pair either fingering weight with another fingering weight or fingering weight with mohair. I'm like, you know what, I need the mohair. I need specifically that colorway in mohair and I can't use any other mohair. So, I got it in mohair as well. Craziness, look at this. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So let me show you one. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So this is mohair, 72% kid mohair, 28% silk, 459 yards, lace weight, 50 grams. And look at these two. Ah! So these will be paired together. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to make a sweater out of this. This is gonna be so crazy, guys. Ah! And it does not stop there. I got another colorway from this collection. And this one that I'm about to show you, this was the first one that I saw that captured my eye that made me go like, oh, I'm getting that. I. I'm getting that and it's not even my usual color that I'm attracted to so it really shocked me but let me grab it here we go Ooh. here it is you guys if you know me you know I am not attracted to any type of white yarn okay like I know this isn't completely white but it is like any yarn that's like mostly white I don't want it because I like a lot of color so but this right here this captured my 
eye. It was just so beautifully pictured with the little blues in it with the white and then there there's some purple. Like it's very, very, very light on this, but there was some purple as well. And it's just, I just saw this and I'm like, I have to have it. And first of all, this is like super soft. This is like softer than the other yarn. I don't know why. It's the same base, classic sock, 100% superwash. Maybe because it's not heavily dyed, I would assume. I don't know. I don't know the dyeing process. Anyway, this is called When It Snows. And I'm just like, this is perfect, perfect snow yarn. And of course, just like with the other one, I was like, I need the mohair with it. So I decided to get the mohair in when it snows. And let me show you guys what it looks like. Eee! This is what it looks like. Oh my Gosh, let me just, here you go, like, look at that. The purple is very prominent on this base. Like, you can easily see that, like, purple to blue. And I kind of like that because then that halo of purple will come from here and complement this so well, like... Oh my goodness, this is such a perfect pairing, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to make a sweater out of this. I don't even know what I'm going to make, but ah, it will be made. And the yarn haul does not stop there. Kalila was watching Inga from Knitting Traditions, and was it Inga you saw the cones from? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was watching Inga and she saw her with some cones, went to the website, showed me the website and we we're just browsing the site and I was just like, let me get some cones. Okay, so I am going to show you my first ever cones of yarn. So this came from the UK and this site called Wooly Knit, or Wooly Knits, Wooly Knit, I think it's just Wooly Knit. I'll link I'll link it down below for you guys, but they have some great prices on cones, especially 500 gram cones, you guys. The yardage is like 2,300 yards for each of these. This is insane and so pretty. So of course they had different bases, but I got the British wool. I'm pretty sure, let me see. There's like a label in here, yeah. I got the 500 gram British wool and you know I love variegated looking yarns. I love heather looking yarns so of course I had to get the heathered look and this is so heathered and beautiful and rustic like are you serious? Look at that! Oh my gosh so I just had to get it. Let's do a little thumbnail. Yeah. I just had to get it, like, had to. My first ever cones, never used cones before. I'm so excited to film a video using these cones. I'm so excited to feel this, like, on my skin in a sweater because this is super rustic, like, I love rustic yarn. So that is all of the yarn that came in today. I am going to continue to work on the sleeve of my sweater. Let's get to more knitting, yeah. guys so I did more knitting I have some food that is crying out to me and I just want to chill for the for like an hour no knitting or anything so I'm just gonna end out this vlog hopefully I got enough footage to make it at least like 10 minutes <laughs> but anyway it is advent time day, ah, day 10 okay so yesterday 
it was more like a, a pinky I still think that it's not pink and it's just like a very light red but I don't know you know I admit that it could be transitioning to pink because this color palette has been all over the place but I also think it might be turning red so this will either be more pink or a little red I think it will still have the blue speckles on it because it had prominent dark blue speckles so let's see oh my god I'm so excited okay all right I'm gonna show you guys okay <laughs> I should have kept my guesses to myself because what the heck is this <laughs> what is happening here I don't understand I I really this is giving me whiplash because I don't know what's happening right now oh my gosh okay first of all here it is so the red is now starting to fade after it was coming I don't why is it fading backwards what is happening so we still have the blue speckles okay the red slash pink is like leaving and we have yellow like yellow orange or something throughout it so are we starting to go into the orange slash yellow route what was the point of the red I don't know or the pink I don't understand I don't understand okay well this is day 10 this is the most confusing out of all of them for me it's cute I like that it's part of the fade but I have no idea why this is here Honestly, I could have never, never, ever predicted this. If I bet money on the next colorway, I would have lost that money. And I would have been okay with losing it because this is absolutely, like, insane. And I could not have predicted this. So, anyway, I guess based on this, I can kind of guess what tomorrow's might be. I feel like we'll just have more of that yellow orange that's happening here probably still some blue speckles but other than that i literally have no idea yeah here it is i think this is the first time i'm showing this in like light in the daytime and look at that number one number one sorry hold on number one and number five those are still the best to me these two right here now let's get to right here do you understand why i am confused like we went from okay the blues then we had like some blues the start of that little like red pink color cool then we're, we get here where it's like more red and pinky oh man okay I guess we got a little hint right here, but I just assumed that was part of the red that was happening. That wouldn't make me assume that this entire thing, like, wouldn't be red slash pink at all, you know? Like, I feel like it just made this huge leap and jump and yeah. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Anyway, let me know down below if you guys can predict the next colorway because I can't. Like, I have my guess, but honestly, I really don't know. I do not know what it could be tomorrow. So we're just gonna be surprised, okay? The only thing I can say is that it will most likely have those blue speckles. Other than that, I have no idea. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for being here with me. Let me know what you guys were working on during this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you whenever I post another video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another vlog.